I told the girls this was going to, we, we, we needed to play this like a Patriot League tournament game. Um, because we have nine days off. It's like the football mentality. You get nine days to build on a win or nine days to think about a L word. And uh, I thought we really played a, a good game against a good Manhattan team that's 2-0 and in the MAC that just beat Quinnipiac by 10 at Quinnipiac, a team that beat us by 10 down there, well, you know, with Raquel. And, and uh, so, I mean, this, this was a, a quality win, I think, switching defenses in the first half and holding them to 17 points was a key. But I thought Lisa made some big shots uh, throughout the game, but particularly three big threes in the, in the uh, uh, second half. And I thought with Molly in foul trouble, my two freshmen, I, we kind of alternated them, and they both did a serviceable job. And I told them, this is how every Patriot League game is going to be, so this experience will be huge. I think that I need to be uh, more on the court leader, just because Raquel's very, very big vocal voice on the mm. court. And being a point guard, um, that's one of my main roles, is just you know letting everyone know what to do and just be there um, just to be positive and you know, when we're not playing well, control the game and control the offense. My shots weren't falling. I'm going up to the rim, so I... You made one drive and one in the first half where she drove right and banked it. She makes so I chose shot. to stay out on the three-point line. <laughs> I knew I didn't shoot well last game, so um, I just focused. Even, I'll give a shout-out to Coach Powell. She told me to just shoot the ball because I'm a shooter. Katie Darty just got the hot hat from Molly. The hot hat is kind of our little thing, the girl that did all the little things. And even though it doesn't show up in the box score, you know, defensively, she had a guy there four player. She had a guy there three player. She had a guy there two player at times. She had a guy there point guy. And she just does all the little things, you know, to set up Lisa or, or whatever. So everyone's got to step up into their role. That's what we talk about, you know. Um, Raquel and Amy are out right now, but uh, we're, we're not telling people to be Raquel or Amy. We're telling them to be, be the best they can be. We focus a lot on getting into the post, and when they start making shots inside, that um, makes more shots available for us on the outside as guards. I thought we did a nice job in the scout, and we played three different defenses in the first half, and we, we kind of mixed them up and, and tried to disguise them, and I thought the girls really bought into it. And, um, you know, we need an identity now. We need something... Um, especially with a couple of guys out with injuries. We need an identity, and we just said it in the locker room. We played great defense, 34%. We just got to want to score a little more and get a little more easier buckets than we did this game. We don't want to rely on Lisa hitting three threes in the second half every game, but um, overall, it's a good formula, and as I always say, uh, it's better to learn than a win than a loss, and I think we made some mistakes, but we'll learn from, and, and we got nine days to straighten them out. Well, we'll give them three or four days off, but uh, those practices, uh, we'll get ready for Dartmouth, and then it's a new season after that. And the other thing I said on radio, Craig, is we've played, our last four out of five games, we have played terrific basketball. We've only won three of them. We, the Pitt game was at Pitt was a great game. We took them down to the wire in Lisa's hometown. Uh, the only stinker we've had is, is Lowell, and hopefully we learn from that and can put that out the window. But uh, four out of the last five, we've played well. Uh, if we can get the kids' game, we got 3,000 little screaming memes coming on the 21st, which will be awesome. If we can get that one going into Christmas, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be in a good frame of mind going to the second season, which starts on the, uh, the 30th. Mm -hmm.